when I think about the question, what has changed since the first edition, um, you know, one of the things that we really wanted to, to do with the book was to keep it the same. We didn't want to change it too much. Like we, you know, it seemed to be dealing with the main and central themes and areas that we wanted to cover for teachers. But what we realized with each new edition was just how much, I mean, there was so much new material to add every time, but we didn't want the book to get too big. And we, so we had to make decisions about what we were going to keep and what we were not going to keep and updating the themes in, with, with the latest research. And so um, in that sense, the book has it stayed pretty much the same in terms of its overall structure and the underlying themes that are there but it's been refreshed <laughs> with every mm -hmm. edition and very much updated because there's been a, so much more classroom research since we wrote the, the first, first edition, edition of How Languages is Learned. I mean, mm -hmm. tremendous amount of research that's yeah. been done since then. One very practical and fairly simple change that's taken place in this most recent edition, mm -hmm. however, is something that we had discussed with our colleagues um, in developing the third edition, and that was the place of the so-called theory chapter right. uh, in the book. And the way the book, the way the first three editions were written, the theories of second language uh, acquisition, or what we called explaining second language learning, was always the second chapter. Mm -hmm. And over time, we came to feel, and, and the, the fourth edition reflects that, that spending more time up front describing learner language, um, looking at what learners actually do as they go from no knowledge to more sophisticated knowledge, looking at individual differences and understanding how those differences affect the way people learn and what they ultimately are able to learn. We, we felt that the, having that background would maybe prepare students better for the so-called theories chapter, which has now become chapter four, because it, it, we have to acknowledge that many times uh, students in, who are fairly new to this area are a little bit shy of the so-called theories. Um, so once they have a better grounding in uh, language learner language and individual differences, then it, we're thinking that they'll be more prepared to, uh, to, to understand what it is that we need to account for, because that's what the theories are. They are attempts to explain why things happen as they do. So we've moved um, what, was the, what was always the second chapter, theories chapter, to, to be chapter four now.